Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So we got another good one coming up here for you. Today is uh, Wednesday, January 5th, 2022. And we've got all sorts of lake effect snow warnings coming. Uh, school's already been closed for tomorrow. The wind is really uh, whipping out here. There's 40, 50 mile an hour gusts. As you can see, most of the stuff from a few days ago, the New Year's Day uh, storm has all melted. Uh, it was up around 40 degrees today. But uh, yeah, there's another event coming. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see the sky, but the moon is out, the sky is clear, but they're saying in about two hours, we're gonna start to get a whole bunch of lake effect from that lake effect machine once that wind blows over the lake. So. I'm going to put my wife's car here in the garage and I am going to turn on the snowmelt. Now the radiant is on right now. That just came on, came on about five minutes ago. So I'm gonna let that finish its cycle because it interrupts the snowmelt anyway. Um, if you wanna know how that works, I'll put a link up above. But uh, I basically wired it all with priority so that the radiant heat for the house takes precedence over the snowmelt. So, even if I turn the snowmelt on right now, it's not going to come on anyway. I might as well let that finish its cycle, pull the car in the garage, I'll get the camera set up, and I'm going to preheat the slab. Uh, normally I let it build up so we can watch it melt, but in an event like this where they're calling for a foot of snow between now or in a you know 8 45 tonight and tomorrow morning uh, i want to give this thing uh, the best fighting chance that i can give it it's going to be interesting to see how it does how it keeps up but uh yeah we'll find out together i'll make sure the camera's plugged in and recording this time so that it doesn't uh power off after an hour and hopefully i can get some good uh content for you guys Take a look at this um, this box right here and also the fence in the time lapse and uh, you should be able to see the snow build up. I'll get this car out of here. I'll leave my van back there a little ways so that we can kind of keep an eye on this big area here in front of the garage. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's have some fun. Let's see how it does. Okay guys, 7.30. I just turned on the snow melt. So the temperature is dropping, it's down to 71, 68, 67, 65. Belimo valve is opening, got good flow. And as I've mentioned in other videos, uh, BTUs are actually falling because the Belimo uh, bypass valve is not open yet. So these are going to drop way down. 57,000, that's for both units. 127 coming back in. So it's pretty much just circulating the primary loop. But the more and more that valve opens, it's almost, almost fully open now. You'll start to see this start to take back off and climb. Hundred thirty five thousand BTUs, hundred and seventy, and you can see the incoming temperature to the heaters drop. And universal hydraulics formula you know, as that incoming temperature drops, your delta T increases. Our set point is 140, so that distance that the heaters have to make up, that temperature climbs, and therefore your BTUs climb. So just like the New Year's Day, our New Year's Day storm, um, the slabs already should be pre pretty warm. Although that wind is really blowing out there, and man, you get a good cold wind blowing across that slab, and it will steal the heat off of it quick. So we we are down to 40, whereas I think New Year's Day the lowest we got was 45. I'll link that video above. But yep, we're already up to 80 going out like just under 40 we're right at 40 there uh, we're showing 45 coming into the flat plate 44 
So anyway, yeah, I'm not going to uh, stand here and keep doing this. I've done this a thousand times. You guys can watch all my other videos if you want to see another 20 minutes of uh, how this thing fires up. But it's uh, 7.30. I, fi I turned it on right at 7.30. So uh, the snow is supposed to start coming down around 8.45. So I'm going to give it a good hour and 15 minutes to get up to temperature. The radiant just ran, uh, shut off around 7, so hopefully that won't come on for another hour. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So hopefully uh, this will keep up. We'll see. It'll be a great test for it. All right, guys. Uh, stay tuned for the time lapse. Okay guys, so as I mentioned, I turned the snowmelt on at 7.30 p.m. in anticipation for the heavy snowfall to begin around 8.45. Now, one cool thing I decided to do in this video was right up here, I added a clock. So let me know in the comments below if you guys like that, if you find it useful. Um, but as you can see, no snow. So this was, you know, around midnight, uh, coming up on midnight here, and still no snow so i've had a lot of comments in the past about you know why don't you preheat the slab and yes ideally preheating it is the best thing to do because it, it the driveway is nice and warm before the snow falls and you don't get a lot of accumulation but one of the downfalls of it is when the meteorologists were dead wrong like they were in this case i mean here we are it's three four in the morning and still no snow you're wasting money by running the system um you know letting it run all night like it did for no reason, probably cost me an extra six, seven, eight bucks in gas. But anyway, I have the time lapse going really fast right now. It's at 4x speed. It did finally start snowing around six o'clock, as you can see here. So I'm going to slow the time lapse back down, put some music on, and let you guys enjoy watching this storm and watching it melt. 